evening. Peace, hello, and here it goes. I remember kissing his soft cheeks. I remember kisses so sweet and the heavy sighs as he slept as if his burdens were kept in a dream not to be shared with me. I'm wondering if things can really go wrong if you're living in the now then you don't have to long for something else than what you've got. Love hits that spot every time. Love hits that spot. Love hits that spot every time. Love hits that spot. Driving down the freeway by myself with the windows up and the air conditioner on through the plains of South Dakota, my mind drifts. A rumble strip that jolts me back awake. He has made me aware of my current position. I am pushed and pulled by the semis which pass my small vehicle, the feeling being somewhat akin to loving him. Reese's voice smooth as butter rolls from my car speakers and I sing along. Impulse traveler, why can't you stay with me tonight? What's your soul taste like, baby? And I can't help but think, yeah, the appetizer was nice, but where's dinner? <laughs> Lord, I'm on the road again. My soul aches. They say that match won't work for me. I am reminded by her thick beats. As I write this story, I am driving 70 miles per hour down the freeway, riding not being the only thing I've done going this fast in my vehicle. Some things were a bit more interesting, quite a few a bit less. <laughs> Regardless, each one of them was easy to handle on their own. But you see, loving him was more like driving 90 miles per hour down the freeway while pouring my thoughts onto paper, singing from my soul and obtaining orgasm all the while being pushed by the semis passing. <laughs> Put together, they would make for a situation I could not control. Like remembering his kiss, which makes me melt like milk chocolate on a hot day, except for chocolate is sweeter and less messy than the reality of the two of us. I would have kept it cool and clean had I any control over the errant sparks that fly, creating wildfires too difficult to contain before the damage has been done. And now I am moving on. I switch to the radio and it skips from rock to country to classical to country and back to more country. I am definitely in the Midwest. <laughs> I finally settle on a conversation piece about bearing children and one of my ovaries aches as if to remind me that it is ready and waiting. It's as if my mind and body have reached an agreement regardless of circumstance. He once asked me what my family would think if I were to be impregnated by a black man, and I said, shocked, shocked that I was having sex at all, and believe me, if I were pregnant, the last thing they'd be thinking about was the color of your skin. <laughs> yeah. I have finally reached the Black Hills. The name strikes me as somewhat odd, seeing that I haven't any encountered any people, let alone hills of that color, since I left Minneapolis. <laughs> I see <laughs> the green trees and rolling hills are a nice reprieve after five hours of open plains and billboard signs. <laughs> I see that some of the trees have been charred by summertime fires, and I remember something I once learned about a forest floor needing to burn in order to make way for new growth. And I know that just like that forest floor, a healthier me will also eventually bloom. <laughs> My mind continues to twist and turn with the contours of the highway. I roll my windows down, stick my head out, take a deep breath, and release. Not only the stale air in my lungs, but that in the car which has become like a tepid pool, keeping my past realities afloat long after they should have been laid to rest. 
Sometimes I think of a soulmate, and I wonder if the idea is simply a comfort we have created, it being easier to feel a sense of purpose when another tells us that we were meant to be, even if it only means we were meant to be for them. <laughs> But then there is a fear that surrounds that sort of purpose, for what if the other no longer tells us that we are the one? Our chosen sense of purpose becomes obsolete. At this thought, I feel extremely thankful to know my connection to all, for I know that no one other can fill that space. And maybe it's because I knew I could not fulfill that space in him, nor he in I, and that both of us were already beginning to feel fulfilled in that sense that I fell in love with him. At the time, I thought that was about as close to a soulmate as one could get. I've almost missed my exit. As distracted as I may seem, I still have the desire to reach my destination, even if that means leaving him back on the tollways. For now, I am headed west, where one doesn't have to pay. If you're living in the now, then you might have to mind those things that get you down sometimes. But you don't have to stay there once you're aware of your own life. Set things right every time you set things right. Said I'm not gonna worry about what could have been if I'm living in the past and I'm never gonna win in my own life. Set things right every time in my own life. Set things right every time in my own life. Thank you.